Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Fixie and I'm back with another video. I am in rare form. Today's video is going to be about natural hair and my natural hair journey. But before we get into this video, y'all, please like, please subscribe, please follow. Please check out my Instagrams, my Snapchats, all that good stuff. Um, and before we get into the video, one more thing. Um, these are my nails. Oh, I got to show y'all my nails every time <laughs> I make a video. But these are my nails at Painted by Pixie. If you're in the Philadelphia area, you can get your nails done. You can schedule an appointment or you can just follow me, share me, show some love. You know, all the support will be lovely. I am still in the beginning process of all my, my internet and streams and just everything. My businesses, I'm still in the beginning phase. So the support, the sharing, it will be very lovely. Um, but enough of that, y'all. Let's get into the video. All right, so today I'm talking about my natural hair. Um, I am about a little over two and a half years in my natural journey. And as you can see, the hair is looking beautiful and lovely. The hair is lovely. Um, so I went natural in 2019, guys. Um, I don't know why or what made me decide. Oh, you know what? I'm lying. I know what made me decide to go natural. So the reason why I wanted to go natural is because I wanted to basically be in a club and just basically, you know how you, you sweating and your hair get messed up and you just don't really want to deal with that. So the reason why I decided to go as natural was because I'm like, you know, I'm going to do, we be doing pole and I'm going to be doing this and I'm going to still want my hair to still look. All right. Um, I don't really wear weaves like that anymore. I kind of got tired of buying them. I got tired of putting them in. Um, I do do braids, but, you know, you put the braids in and then you don't got to worry about your hair for a while. Um, I did just take my hair out. I straightened it and trimmed it just to, you know, just to give myself a little lymph check or whatever. Um, I probably won't straighten my hair again until December, which is my birthday. I don't know why, but for some reason, I, around my birthday, I always straighten my hair. So, um, I straighten my hair about maybe three or four times a year. It's never a whole bunch. Um, I will give this suggestion to anybody that's natural or, you know, whatever. Because you don't have to physically, physically not straighten your hair to be natural. But because, I mean, it's, it's still natural. I mean, I, everybody, I guess, definition is different. But what I'm going to say is I feel like in your natural journey, you have to pick a struggle and you're either going to be a dyer or a straightener. And what I mean by that is, all right, I dyed my hair three times this year or maybe twice this year, but I only flat on my hair four times this year. But I do want to change. I might dye my hair again. I don't know yet. I might dye it once it get a little longer, grow out again next year. I'm not sure. But what I mean by that is basically like, I'm not saying to straighten your hair all the time because the point is to not straighten it so it can grow. But let's say you want to straighten your hair once every two months or once every three months. You know, that you straighten your hair like between five and six times. So you can't dye your hair all the time and straighten your hair all the time, basically. Like, you have to pick a struggle. Um, I more so like to dye my hair than straighten my hair. So that's mine's. But like when you're dying it and straightening it all the time is you putting, you know, more damage on your hair from doing both. So like I said, pick your struggle, you know. Um, I, like I said, I'm a dyer. I prefer to dye my hair than straighten my hair. Um, another thing that I would tell you guys, anybody that's natural or just anybody like a, a good piece of hair advice that I wish I would have known before I went natural or just started dyeing my hair or just started anything in general. I wish I would have knew this. If you are going or if you are a colorer and you like to change your hair a lot of times, my best suggestion for you is to go on ahead and either bleach it or box dye it. I chose to box dye my hair. Um, I did it twice. Um, I know now that I am a two box person. The first time I dyed it, all the color didn't take, so I went and did it again. Um, I, I, or you know, like I said, or you can bleach it. But my, the thing I'm trying to say is like, say you dye your hair blonde, but then you want it to be red. It's already blonde, so you can go get a red rinse. 
Or say you want your hair darker and you want it to be black. You can go get a black rinse or a brown rinse or whatever. As opposed to you dyeing it and then you want it back black and then you dye it back black. And then there you want to go red again and then you got to bleach your hair over and then put red in it. You know what I mean? Or put a red dye in it. Like I would just suggest to just bleach it all and then just use a semi-permanent color. And a semi-permanent color washes the hair out. So you're not, the only commitment you're making is to blind. You're not having, you know... I'm, I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry. Semi-permanent dye is not permanent as permanent. So it will wash out eventually as opposed to you keep putting chemicals to dye it black and then dye it back blonde and then dye it black blonde and make it red. You know, if, if you get what I'm saying, if you don't know what hair really much about hair, I really don't know how to tell you, but dyeing it per semi dye is better than just keep dyeing it permanent. And you damaging your hair more and more. So Basically, to go back to what I said, had I would have known what I known, instead of dyeing my hair blonde and then dyeing it black and then dyeing it red, I would have just dyed it blonde and I would have just put a rinse over it. So that would be my suggestion from anybody that's into color, like just dye it blonde and just put the colors over it and let it fade out and your hair is still going to be blonde. And when it's blonde, it could be any color. You know, you might have to lighten it to get a lighter color, but you already got the blonde hair as your foundation. So you don't have to keep dyeing it. You could just throw a rinse and it's not permanent. And then you still got your blonde hair. And then when you're done, you can dye whatever color you want. So, um, that's a good suggestion, um, for that or whatever. Um, I've been, I started going at you, like I said, in 2019, and once 2020 came here and I seen how successful I was with going natural, I was like, hmm, if I could do that in a year, imagine what else I can do. So me going natural kind of set the tone for me doing my pole and doing my nails and doing everything else. It created, it set a tone for me to basically being like, okay, if I can commit to this, I can commit to something else for a year, for two years, for however long. So I've been natural almost three years in January. I have not quite been natural um, three years yet. Um, but I've, it's, it's, it's been a long journey. I've watched my hair grow. And honestly, like when you're not really worried about it, it grows. Um, I did, I did not do a big chop. I did transitioning. And like I said, I would cut my hair every like two to three months just to clip it. And then, you know, now I only do it like twice a year or once a year because I'm more natural now. At first I was transitioning. Um, a lot of people do do the big chop and that's basically where you cut all your hair or most of your hair off. Um, if you're a wig wearer or a weave wearer or a hair braid or you wear a lot of braids in your hair, I would just suggest to just go ahead and cut it off. I mean, you don't have to, but like just cut it off because it's like if you wear wigs and weaves, nobody's not going to see your real hair except you. But if you know you like to reel your real hair out, I wouldn't suggest you to big chop it because if you want to wear a bun or a ponytail or you want to straighten it every once in a while, it's definitely going to be difficult for you to be able to style it. But if you don't, if you don't really wear your real hair out like that, then go for it. Like, you know, cut it all off. Nobody's, nobody's going to see how short your hair is except you. Like you're going to be wearing wigs and weaves, you know? So, um, it depends on how fast you want it. If you're patient, if you, like I said, you rocking your real hair or you not, like it's just would depend on whether you should cut it all off transition which is a slow process of cutting it off every couple months or just the big chop and just cut it all off. Um, I'm not going to say I wish I wouldn't have, I would or wouldn't big chop. I, 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 I was happy with my decision to transition because like I said, I am a ne I like to wear my real hair out. So I was wearing a lot of buns and stuff in between like the braids and stuff. I did wear braids like my first nine months. So big chopping would have been cool because I kept my hair in protective styles for like the first nine months. I really wasn't comfortable with it. I felt like it was kind of short. Um, I didn't really do the curly hairstyles until like nine, ten months in. Once I started doing the curly hairstyles, I love them. Um, but, you know, you, when you go through that short phase, I feel like your hair is, I feel like when you go natural, your hair is pretty when it's really short and when it's really long. I feel like that medium stage is like, ugh, it's just a mess. But, um, yeah, so, um, that's that or whatever, but just quickly, I just want to give you, get into some products that I like, 
Um, stuff do not have to be hard, y'all. Don't make it more harder than it need to be. Um, it's, it's not it's not hard. Um, hair styling is easier. You think it's hard, but no, it's, it's so easy, especially like as a dancer. You know, girls wear their hair in buns and ponytails and two braids and just girly little hairstyles. So it's so easy for me to style my hair. And at first I thought it was difficult, but no, like I'll slick my hair back into a nice little ponytail put some cute edges, put some makeup on, and can't go wrong with your big hoops. Like, you know, just put some little extra makeup on, you know? Um, I don't know who, how many people wear makeup on a daily basis. I really don't. I just really wear eyelashes. But you put your eyelashes, your hoops, and your lip gloss, you're good to go. But, you know, when you wear or wear makeup, you, it's, it's, it just set the whole tone, you know? Um, but just some quick products that I like to use. My first one, I don't know where it's at. It's hiding in here. I think this might be it. This is a must. Castor oil. Castor oil. Um, This is the nail version. I got mine off of Amazon. Um, I don't know where else. You can get it in other, like, stores. But I, I usually get it on Amazon, even though I have gotten it from, like, a little, like, kind of, like, health store around my way. But castor oil, to me, is number one. Um... I've cut my hair a few times throughout the years, and this is it. Um, you got avocado oil, you got almond oil, you got coconut oil, which I like coconut oil, but to me, it's not number one, but I know a lot of people do use it, and a lot of people do highly recommend it, and the avocado oil and the and the cat, the cat coconut oil, just so you guys know, y'all can use it with y'all food stamps, y'all can Y'all don't have to pay for that. But me, I usually use castor oil and almond oil. I ran out of almond oil, so I don't have it. And you can get extra virgin olive oil as well um, with your food stamps. Um, every week, once a week, I usually mix my little oils together. And then, like, I hot oil treatment it. And um, then, it, then I put it, then I take that out or whatever. And then I put, like, a deep conditioner, um, which is this brand right here. This is not, this is the curling cream. Um, I use a hair mask from them. Eden is my brand. This is my go-to brand. When I first started going natural, um, I think I was using Shea Moisture. I don't really like Shea Moisture like that. I definitely feel like it's overrated, but that's just for me. I'll speak for myself. But Eden is the brand I use. I have leave-in conditioner. I have curling cream. I have... Curly gel. This is my leave-in conditioner. Um, I usually do a hot oil treatment and a deep conditioner every week. Um, my hair been in braids, so I don't do it with my, my hair in braids. Obviously, I don't do it when my hair is straightened. When your hair is straightened, it needs to be drier. When your hair is curly, it needs to be moisturized. Um, I use this also when I straighten my hair. This is after I blow dry it and everything like that. And I just throw a little bit on there. And this is what I use when my hair is wet. And then I'll like, it's, a, it's basically like a um, a keratin. It's basically like a um, heat protectant. I put this in my hair is wet. Then I blow dry it. And then I put that oil on. I just showed you. And I straighten my hair. Um, those are probably like my favorites. And boom, y'all. These two. My Blue Magic um, and my Lot of Body. Oh my God, y'all, these are heaven. These are heaven. So this is what I'll do. Like, say it's like a day where I just really don't know what I want to do with my hair or something like that. What I do is I'll wash it, rinse it out, and then like, you know, I'll, you know, the next day is nighttime. I'll mix these two in like some oil or whatever, whatever oil I'm going to use. And I'll put my hair in like four or five big braids. And I will take this out and boom, like it's, it, the, it's oh, it'd be so beautiful. It'd be so beautiful. Now, granted, um, if you're newly natural, your hair is not going to get that curly yet because it's still used to like the straighten process. But I'm telling y'all, give it some time. And another thing, like if you want to put the braids in and say you don't want to wear it crinkly, but you want to style it different, it makes it so easier for you to straighten your hair. Like a lot of people, um, a lot of people um they think it's like harder to to manage your hair and yes it is if if you let your hair air dry without no product or if you let your hair air dry yes it is definitely hard to manage 
But if you style your hair like braided or bantu knotted or something like that while it's wet, and then you try to take it out and style it, it will be so much easier for you to get through your hair. Um, also, the Blue Magic that I just showed you, this one. If I am having a day where I am in a rush, I'll put this and some gel in my hair and let it air dry and it does come out nice. If I don't put this in my hair and I just let my air, hair air dry, it will be like so big and puffy and just stiff. But this, I w it will be moving. Like it will have a little bit of movement, a little bit of body in it. Um, I do use other products. I do use gel. Um, I do use jam. Um, I, I, of course, I use edge control. Um, and I use this too, guys. I don't use it as often as like most people do, but this stuff does work. It does, does, does work. Um, a lot of people think that a lot of stuff don't work. This is wild growth oil is very popular. If you haven't heard about it. Um, a lot of people think that the stuff don't work and it does work. It's just, you have to be consistent. You have to be patient. Um, a lot of people will try something for a week and then it don't work. And then. They gave up on it and then they just, you know, they just, they give up on it. And I will always say, um, my teacher used to always tell me 30 days makes a habit. I know y'all have heard me say that in a couple videos, but I will always say for anything that you're trying to see results in, I would say 60 to 90 days is what you need to see results when it comes to like weight loss and like hair and stuff like that. Um, the third month of when I went natural was when I started seeing results. I really started seeing them. You know, I really started seeing a change in my hair. I really started feeling like it was getting thicker. It was getting fuller. Uh, Cause my hair is kind of thin, y'all. It's not the thickest, but you know, it's got a little thicker. But when it's wild, it's kind of thick. So, um, I don't know what else to say, guys. Uh, I was trying to make this video kind of short, but it's kind of long. Um. That's all I got to say, guys. Um, for my new people, welcome to Pixie's World. And for the old people, the ones who've been showing love, I really appreciate it. Like I told you guys, I am still new on my journey. So please continue to support your girl. Um, I'm, unfortunately, my hair, I guess the angle that I'm taking a video, my hair doesn't look the best or whatever. Um, my hair is natural, so I don't expect my hair to really last that long because I don't flare on it that much. It's not trained necessarily anymore. So I enjoy it for my little couple, three days, and then when it get poofy, it just, it is what it is. Um, I like my curly hair on myself personally. I do think I look beautiful when my hair is straightened, but it doesn't last, so, you know. But um, thank you guys so much uh, for supporting your girl. Please follow my social media. They're going to all be in the description box. Um, Y'all know what I'm going to say. Please pray to God. Please protect y'all peace. And I will see you guys in another video. Mwah.